Hi, it's Chris, and welcome back to Amiga Crap. Today on Amiga Crap, we're going to be flashing a Furia 600 8 chip model for Mr. John way down south and shipping it back to him. However, I had to go dig in the archives to find the machine. My profile's messed up and it won't log me in properly. It keeps loading a temporary profile, so I can't get to my desktop with all my crap on it. Yay. We'll see. It says preparing windows. It shouldn't say preparing windows. It's screwed up. My profile's not working. All my crap is on here. Worst case, I'm going to have to build the other turd that looks just like this case. Everything was on here. License and all. Off camera, I did manage to take an 8 gigabyte memory card and get my Xilinx license key at least off the hard drive. So we are there. So the Furia 600, even though I'm not even touching it yet, is already flexing their muscles. What a pain in the butt. If you use a Xilinx CPLD, just slap yourself right in the frickin' face right now. And that is not my desktop. This was supposed to be a five minute task. Bing, bang, boom, back in the mail. Nope. Xilinx programmer sucks. Xilinx software sucks. One to be flashed. And put it down here. I've already pre ran my cable based on my own video from the past okay so that way we're going to the same firmware that's in my Furia create a new project automatically scan found it no program it programming the CPLD program succeeded perfect that's a good thing turn it off turn it on the firmware I just put on there is 13.1 directly from Lotharec from Boris and that's the firmware I have and that's the firmware that is now on this Furia and now this Furia will be just like mine you should put a fan on yours when you get this FPU is on, cache is on, IDE speedup is off, ROM mapping is inactive cool I don't have a 60 or 40. Uh, speed 6080 C020, 6082, and 37.70 megahertz. So this Furia is now furiating. It's uh, working fine. I'm on the 3.2.1 kickstart, as you can see. All is well, 6,505 drive stones, 6.79 MIPS, 0 0.85 mega flops, 37.70 uh, hard drives. These are my drives, uh, 30 buffers, nothing to shake a stick at. Standard, whatever the hell this compact flash card does, it's not much. Yeah, 668K. Like I said, it's not much. I don't have. Yeah, nothing. My IDE speed up is off. I can do Furia tune IDE on and run the same. We'll see. Uh, drives DH0 speed 687 was my before. This is if you map the ROM and all that good stuff, you get a lot more speed out of it. 704. I got a little bit. Cool. So it's nice to see that this thing is working again. 8 megs and we're back in business. So that's Sysinfo 4.0 on the Furia ECO20. And I'm going to put mine over here. Check mine. Maybe as well flash mine while I'm here with version 14 and see what it blows up. It did not like the 60 nanosecond or the 50. So I didn't do it. 13.1 and uh, all is well. So John, I hope this helps you and works well for you as it is for me. All right, like I said, my overscan is off on my RGB to HDMI. I never set the button options, so it's clear. But let's just make sure that this is functional before I send it back. All right, so with Mr. John's card here all done, I don't have a lot of tools on here. I had to pull out the RGB to HDMI because it kept pushing on the Furious JTAG and I didn't want anything happening to this so it's all good we're three two one here's my Furia two chip model or the fan the four chip model as you can see I'll lift this up it is right there with the JTAG cable still on it three two one ROM this gray cables not connected uh, 
programmer still plugged in. Just resting there. Workbench is uh, 3.2 ROM. It's a 3.2.1 ROM on uh, Workbench 3.2.1 as specified by that top bar right there. So it's working. I'm going to test the... So this is 8 megs of RAM. I'm going to test the hold it for 3 seconds. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000. That's too long. Okay, good enough. Let go. We should boot into a 4 meg mode. So there you go. You can see we're in 4 meg mode, 2 meg chip. Everything's still good. So Mr. John, you are back in business for a 3.2 or 3.14 capable Furia. Remember, they're picky. SD cards play a critical role in your success with a 3.2, 3.2.1, 3.1.4. What am I running? I am currently, I can take this out now. I am rocking a Transcend, uh, this is my card, a Transcend Industrial Grade 4 gig. I've had the best luck with them. I am using the Amiga CF2 IDE angled adapter. It rests over the PCM CIA slots and it just goes right back in and boy this card gets hot man hot 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 so I'm gonna package this back up and get it shipped back out to you immediately so that's a Furia uh, 8th chip 204 chip if you're interested in putting a cooling fan on yours, they're almost identical except for the RAM. So that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you, and I hope you learned something.